Welcome to the final video in the series on network flows. And today we're going to be looking at two big network flow questions. And we're going to be drawing on all the theory uh, from the previous uh, three videos. All right. Um, so question number one, uh, we are given this network. And um, the first part of the question uh, is asking us to add a super source and a super sync to the network above. Okay, so this might be worth two marks um, because you need to include the weightings on the arcs um, uh, to the super source, uh, to the super sync and from the super source. Um, okay, so we've got two sources. Uh, uh, they're conveniently labeled S1 and S2 for us. Um, so I can just pop in my super source uh, there, which is going to be just the letter S. Uh, and then I'm going to pop in an arc there and an arc there. So one arc um, from the source super source to each of the sources. The number that goes on this arc is equal to the sum of all of the arcs coming out of that source. So um, source one has got 12 coming out that way as a capacity, eight that way and five that way. So therefore the number that goes on that arc is going to be 25. Um, and then the one that comes out of S2, we've got 14 going up there and 10 going there. So that's going to be 24. Uh, repeat the same thing at the end. Uh, we've got two sync nodes. Again, they're nicely labeled T1 and T2 for us already. Um, so I'm just going to pop in a super sync uh, over there. There's one of my arcs. And there's the other one. Um, and then the weighting that goes on this arc is going to be the sum of uh, all of the arcs going into each um, into each sink. So this one here has got 7 plus 15, so that's 22. Uh, and this one here has got 5 plus 12 plus 8, uh, which is 25. Okay, uh, so that answers the first part of the question. Calculate the capacity of cut alpha. All right, so cut alpha, nice and conveniently labelled for us. It's already uh, on our network. Um, we've got that pipe there, which is fine. It's going from source to sink. That one there is okay. Uh, that one there is okay. That one there is okay. Um, that one there is okay. And this one here. Uh, so they're all going from source to sink side. So we're going to include them all in our calculation. We'll miss one from the top here. I'm going to include them all in our calculation. So that's going to be 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 8 is 18, uh, plus 5 is 23, plus 14 is 37, uh, plus 10 is 47. So uh, the value of cut alpha is 47. Uh, so I'm just going to pop 47 down here um, in the answer space. All right, and then part C, calculate the capacity of cut beta. Um, I did mention this in the cut video, but usually when they ask you for two different cuts, um, one of them will be uh, include an arc which goes from sink to source side. Um, so just be careful. Uh, so this one here, that's okay. It goes from source to sink. This one here is good. Uh, this one here I don't want to include because D is on the sink side of the network and E is on the source side of the network. And I don't want to include D to E because um, I don't want I don't want to ca count flow from sink to source in this cut calculation. So that is the one I'm going to ignore. Um, that one goes from source to sink. So that one's OK. This one is source to sink. So that one's OK, as is that one and as is that one. OK, so we've got three plus eight is 11 plus 15 is 26 plus five is 31 plus 12, 43 plus eight is 51. So 51 is the value of my cut beta. So I'm gonna pop that in my answer space. Okay, a common mistake there would be to calculate it as 56 uh, by including that five. Okay, uh, part D. Uh, the diagram above shows a feasible flow through the network. Okay, you don't need to check uh, a statement like that. You can just assume it's true because you're told it is a feasible flow. Uh, what that means is that all of these numbers will be less than or equal to the pipe capacities. Because um, these are now flow values, not capacity values. And also, um, and except for sources and sinks, uh, all of the flow into a node will equal all of the flow out of that node. OK, so for part I, uh, we are to state the values of X and Y. So just look at these uh, values here. We can see that uh, this is not being included. It's an unknown. Um, and so is this. 
Um, what we're going to do is just apply the fact that this is a feasible flow, uh, which means that all of the flow into node D must equal all of the flow out of node D. So we can see we've currently got six coming in there and three coming in there. So we've got nine flow coming in to node D, which means we must have nine flow coming out of node D. Okay? Flow does not accumulate at node D and nor does node D provide any source of flow. Um, so it, it just redirects. That's all it does. Um, so seven plus X must equal nine. So X must be two. Uh, we can then do the same thing at node E now that we've got that this is two. Um, so we've got two coming in that way. Uh, we've got three coming in that way. We've got six coming in that way. Uh, so that's a total of 11 coming in. Uh, we've got 11 coming out, going from E to T1, uh, which means we don't want any flow uh, going from E to T2. Uh, so therefore, Y uh, will equal zero. Okay, no flow. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the answer to that. Um, and then part two, prove that this flow is a maximum flow. Prove that this flow is a maximum flow. Okay, so let's just consider how um, how much flow there actually is through this network. Um, we can do that quickly by summing all of the arcs out of the sources, or we can do that by summing all of the arcs going into the sinks. Um, they should be the same number. Um, in fact, they have to be the same number um, for a feasible flow. So we've got six plus eight, uh, it's 14, plus 8 is 22, plus 5 is 27, plus 10 is 37. So I'm saying that the flow through this network is 37. I'm asked to prove that this is a maximum flow, which implies that this is the maximum flow. I just need to prove it. Um, so I'm going to be using the max flow min cut theorem, which means I need to find a cut in this network where... The, um, the cut is equal to 37. So I've got a cut of 47 and 51, um, but those two are useless because not, neither of those are 37. Um, let's just check the, the sink side first though. So seven plus 11 is 18. Uh, that was zero, so it's still 18. Plus 12, that uh, makes 30, and then plus seven, uh, 37. So good, the, the flow from the sources equals the flow um, to, the, uh, to the sinks, 37. Okay, so what I mentioned in the previous video about cuts is that the minimum cut will go through only saturated pipes or pipes facing the wrong way of the maximum flow. So what would be a good idea is to look at this network of flows and just indicate which pipes are saturated. So I'm going to be comparing these numbers to the numbers in the capacity network at the top of my page. Now, I can't show you both of these at the same time, um, so you're just going to have to trust me. Um, that I am crossing them off uh, correctly. Uh, so six is not at capacity, three is. So I'm just going to scribble out that line just to indicate that that is saturated. Uh, seven is saturated. Um, eight is saturated. Uh, zero is not. Three is saturated. Uh, two is not. Eleven is not. Zero is not. Twelve is. So that pipe there is saturated, going from B all the way down here to T2. Uh, seven is not, four is saturated. From there. Uh, six is saturated there. Uh, six up there is not saturated. That one's saturated there, three. Uh, and 10 is saturated. And the five is saturated. Okay, so those are all the saturated pipes. Uh, so the minimum cut will go through only saturated pipes or pipes facing the wrong way. So I can go through, this one's got zero on it, so it, it might go through one of those two. Um, I won't go through any others um, because it will, it, it will have a zero uh, flow through it if it's facing the wrong way for a maximum flow. Um, but I can, I can see that actually if I cut all the way through there, I am only crossing arcs which I've scribbled out. So therefore that must be the minimum cut. So I'm just going to pop that in there. I'm going to call this cut gamma um, because I've already got cuts alpha and beta there. Um, let's just check that does equal 37. Uh, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 12 is 18, plus 4 is 22, plus 5 is 27, 
plus 10 is 37. So yes, cut gamma equals 37. So I'm just going to put in, in for my answer, um, cut gamma, and then just going to pop in um, S1, S2, A, B, and then C, D, E, F, T1, and T2 uh, equals 37. So we've got a cut, that is 37. We've got a flow, that is 37. So by the max flow min cut theorem, and you do need to really state that. It's really hard to get the mark if you don't use that phraseology, okay? Max flow min cut theorem. Okay, it doesn't matter about dashes, hyphens, slashes, wherever you put them, doesn't matter. Those words, max flow min cut theorem. Um, 37 is the maximum flow. And that proves it, that's enough. Uh, you don't need to prove the theorem itself, you assume it's true for this course. Um, okay, so we found a cut that's 37. Uh, the flow is 37. Um, so therefore, that is both the maximum flow and the minimum cut. All right, uh, so that was the first question. Uh, question number two, a different network again, not seen this one yet. Um, so, uh, AI, um, explain why pipe EH cannot be saturated. Okay, so let's just look at our network. Okay, lots going on here. Um, lots of crosses, okay, lots of crossing arcs in this one. So it's not planar. It makes it a little bit difficult to um, to see. So just, just be careful with questions like this, um, that you are uh, you are clearly seeing which numbers go with which arcs. Okay. Um, okay, so EH is the one we're looking at. So that's this arc here. Why can this not be saturated? Uh, when you get a question like this, it's usually because um, the flow out can't equal that number or the flow in uh, can't equal that number. Um, so looking at H, we can see that 15 is obviously bigger than 8. So it, H can have 8 flow going through it. Um, but E, it's only got 5 coming in and it's got uh, the 8 and the 3 coming out. Um, so the maximum it can have going through it is 5, um, which means the maximum flow we can have through pipe EH is 5. So therefore it cannot be saturated. So you need to kind of put that into words. Um, and write it down. Uh, so the max flow into node E is 4 plus 1 equals 5. That is strictly less than 8. Therefore, uh, node E cannot have 8 flow leaving it of an outer room. Something, something along those lines. Okay. Um, part two, state which node is the sync node. So again, looking at the network, um, we've got a source node that's clearly the node S, um, but there's no clear node, um, which is the sync, because there's no T. Um, however, if you look closely enough, there is only one node, which only has arcs going into it, um, and that is node I. Okay. Uh, all the others have arcs coming in and going out, or source just have node uh, arcs coming out. Um, so therefore node I is the sync node. Uh, Ask to justify your answer. So because uh, it's the only node uh, with no arcs leaving it. Again, I've run out of room there. Uh, but that's enough uh, for justification uh, for that. Okay, node I is a sync node, says my answer, and my justification because it's the only node with no arcs leaving it. Okay, part B, find a flow through the network which totals 21. Okay, so questions uh, like this can come up. You can be asked to find a flow through a network. So if you think back to my first video on this topic, uh, this is where we are going to use uh, perhaps the augmented flow uh, method. Um, so 21 through. So by the wording of the question, that does imply that a flow of 21 through this network is possible. 
Okay, uh, there's no one answer to this either. Okay, there are multiple answers uh, to questions like this. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is, just like I did in the, in the first video of this series, I'm just going to write down uh, different routes and then um, augment those flows together. Um, so, so far, there's, uh, I'm going to look at this network as there being no flows uh, anywhere in the network, um, and then I'm going to build it up until I get to a flow of 21. Okay, so my first route I'm going to look at is uh, S-A-E-H-I, just because that goes around the top of the network. That's uh, so S-A-E-H and I. Um, I'm going to put a flow of four through there because that's the smallest number out of those four numbers. So I'm going to put four. Uh, so that's now got a flow of four through it. That's got a flow of four through it, which means it is saturated. Uh, that's got a flow of four through it. And that's got a flow of four through it. Okay, it's going to keep going like that until I uh, run out of options, or until I get to 21, actually, in this case. Um, so another route um, might be S-A-F-H-I. So I'm bypassing this saturated pipe by going down to F and then coming back up to H. Um, again, I can push another four through there. Um, that's got six space, that's got six space, that's got four space, and that's got 11 space. So four is the most I can push through that route. So S-A-F-H-I, and that's going to be another four. So that's now going to be up at eight. I've got four going through that pipe, four going through this pipe. That's now saturated, so let's just mark that out with a saturated squiggle. And that has now got a flow of eight going through it. Notice I'm just annotating this network. Um, and once I've got my answer, I'll copy the numbers down to the answer network. Okay, that's common practice. Um, okay, I don't think I can do anything else uh, with this arc because I can't push anything else through AE. And, oh no, I could, I could come down here actually. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's send two there, two there, two there, and two there. So that's... Um, that's got capacity of two, that's got capacity of two, that's got 12 and that's got 15. So I can push two going that way. Um, that then finishes the A route. So S, A, uh, F, J, I. Uh, that's going to give me two. So that's going to be up at 10, which means that is saturated. Uh, that's going to be up at six. So that's now saturated. Uh, that's now got a flow of two through it and that's got a flow of two through it. Okay, let's keep going because I'm only at 10 flow through my network currently. Um, okay, so let's come down to D, up to G, and then in that way. Uh, so that's going to be S, D, G, J, I. S, D, G, J, I. Um, how much flow can I push through there? Well, it's going to be five. I've got seven cap, ten cap, five cap, thirteen cap. The smallest of those is five. So I've got five flowing through there, five flowing through there, five flowing through there, which saturates that pipe. And that has now got seven flow through it. Um, okay, let's go S, B, F, J, and I. So S, B, F, J, I. How much can I push through there? Uh, two. I can push two through there. Um, so I'm going to pop a two there. That's going to be a two. That's now saturated. Uh, that's got a flow of two through it. That's now upgraded to four, and that's now got nine in there. Um, I could push another one up through there and down. So that's S, B, E, H, I. So that's a one. That now saturates that pipe. That's gone up to a five. That's now at nine, and that's now at three. Okay, so I've pushed one through that route. Um, can't do anything else up here now. Uh, let's go back down to S to C. What am I on? 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. I've got three left I can push through. Uh, so um, let's try three that way, three that way, three that way, and three that way. Yeah. S, C, F, J, I. So S, C, F, J, and I. Let's push three through. Three there. Three there. That saturates that pipe. Uh, three through that one, so that's now up at seven, and then three through that one, so that's now up at 12. Um, that is now a flow of 21, which is what the question has asked me to find. Uh, so I'm just going to transfer all of the numbers uh, for these pipe flows uh, to my answer, um, answer network. Okay, so here's my answer network. Um, so I've got 10 through that one, 
three through that one, three through that one, five through that one, nothing there, five there, five there, 12 through there, seven through there, nine, four, five, nothing, uh, one going up that way, four going down that way, six going down that way, two there, three there, uh, nothing in that pipe, nothing in that pipe. And what I'm also going to do is just, just going to saturate, um, I'll scribble off the saturated pipe. So that one's saturated, that four was saturated, that six is saturated, um, that two was saturated, that one is saturated, that three is saturated, and that five there is saturated. Oh, and that one there is saturated. Okay, uh, so that's my answer to that question. Okay, find a flow through the network, which totals 21. Uh, that is my answer. There are other answers that are possible, um, but what you, you should find is that all of these numbers coming out of the source sum to 21, which they do, all of the numbers going into the sink sum to 21, which they do, um, all flow into every other node equals all the flow out of it. And also all of these numbers are less than or equal to the pipe capacities. Okay, if all four of those uh, conditions are met, then that is a correct answer. And then one final part of the question, justify why your answer to part B is a maximum flow. Uh, so for this, yep, you got it. We're going to use the max flow min cut theorem. So we're going to find a cut um, of the capacity network, not the pipe network, the capacity network, um, which equals uh, 21. Um, so, again, just to remind you in the previous video, I did mention that the minimum cut of uh, the network will go through saturated pipes of the maximum flow. Um, so we can see that's uh, all, all of these are saturated and that one's down there saturated. Uh, so that is um, a cut which goes through only saturated pipes and separates the source from the sink. So therefore that should equal uh, 21. Let's just check. 4, 5, plus 6 is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, plus 5 is 21. Okay. So what I'm going to do is for my answer to this question, I'm going to say cut uh, S, A, B, C, D, G, E, F, H, I, J equals 21. Okay, That's enough in my answer for that cut, Okay, because the, this is a notation for cuts, which the exam would recognize. Therefore, by the max flow min cut theorem, 21 is the maximum flow. Again, notice in my answer to this question, I have used the phrase by the max flow min cut theorem. Okay, that's what the exam board will be looking for um, to, to get this mark. Okay, by the max flow min cut theorem, twenty one is the max flow, and we can we can we can say this um, because we found a cut that's twenty one, and we found a flow that's twenty one. So therefore, there isn't a cut bigger than twenty one, and there isn't a flow. Sorry, there isn't a cut smaller than twenty one, and there isn't a flow bigger than 21 by the max flow min cut theorem. Okay, right, that is it for network flows. I um, hope uh, you are all confident enough with this topic. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please just uh, post in the comments below. And um, thank you very much for um, checking out my YouTube channel.